Welcome back. So we have seen him bring his brand of tough love to singles on VH1. And now he is taken into the streets of New York to answer some of your questions from VH1's Tough Love co-ed. Please welcome Steve Ward. So we love it. We're putting you to the test here from Thanks. the people of New York themselves. Good. Let's get started with our first question here. This is uh, our number one question. And I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. I work here right around the corner. My question, can, can, can guys and girls be close friends if they're dating in a relationship with someone else? Okay, I don't know if I understand that. Is that kind of when Harry met Sally, can guys and girls just be friends question? Is that what he's getting at? Well, there's a lot of men that are somewhat in intimidated or threatened by other men being around their girl, no matter uh. what the circumstances may be. So I think that in order for you to be able to balance your relationship so that he can have, be friends with girls mm -hmm. and you can be friends with guys, you just got to sit down and talk about it. Mm -hmm. And as long as you understand the boundaries and there's respect there, it should be able to work. It's true, especially if a girl's BFF is a guy, then the potential boyfriend may be like, I don't know about that, right? Oh, you're saying I mean, about. it's probably happened to you before, too. Yeah. You know, when a guy confesses his love for you, but you and thought like, he's been a friend you, for I thought years. you were just friends. Yeah, exactly. And then it gets all weird it and creepy. every day. It gets all weird and tainted. Okay, question number two. Let's listen. How do I know if a man is hiding his wedding ring in his pocket? <laughs> what are the indicators? <laughs> Can I guess? Can I guess? Tell me Please. if I'm right. Maybe um, a tan line or maybe an indent where the ring was be? Yes. Right. Ding, ding, ding. Well, if they're taking the ring off, then you, you, that's the guy, that's the fish you want to throw back in the water okay. anyway. But I would say the number one thing you want to do is just ask. Come right out with it. You know, men like to get away with murder yeah. because they just let you assume but away. they'll just lie. I mean, if they're taking it off hiding a wedding, wouldn't they just lie? Well, it's, it's very easy to lie in New York because marriage and divorce records are sealed. So oh. you couldn't even find out the truth if they told you their real name, address, and phone number. Look at you thinking of marriage and, and divorce records. Like, can you imagine the person like crazy enough to check those out? But I'm sure you've seen uh, it. We run background checks on everybody we wow. work with. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Well, now our next question. If you've been married for 20 years, how do you keep the spice up? Mm, that's a tough one. No, I think it's actually a lot easier question than people think. Okay. Just try doing something new that you both have an interest in doing, right? Maybe it's scuba diving. Maybe it's cross-country skiing. It could be golf, for crying yeah. out loud. But if either one of you have had an interest that you haven't been able to pursue because of career, or family, or mm -hmm. whatever the case may be, find something new to together and make that a passion. Uh, okay. It may sound cliche, but hey, just do it. Just yeah. actually go out and do yeah. it. Uh, okay. Our last question. I kind of like this one. This will be kind of funny. Okay. Mark Wilson from Houston, Texas. I want to know what's the weirdest thing he's ever done in bed. <laughs> Me? Putting you on the spot. Yep, he, you, Steve. Oh, God. Putting you on the spot. Uh, talk sports. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you know what? For some people, that might be a turn on. No, it is weird. Bed. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, I love it, especially now that we know that you're in a very happy, committed relationship, as you said before. And this one I'm intrigued about. I don't know if we have time. Do we have time? No. Why do women cheat? I'll just ask. Why do women cheat? Really because quickly. they got a reason. Typically, or out of spite. Yeah, I like out of spite. That kind of makes sense. So why do guys cheat? Normally because they're either stupid or they think they can get away with it. <laughs> okay. Seems to be true in a lot of cases. Steve, thank you very thank much you for, for being me. with us.